I'm doing my dash, contract violation. What's up? I'm gonna share some information with you guys so we could learn, we can be informed, maybe a little entertained as well. I had something happen to me yesterday on DoorDash that's never happened before. Now, I've gotten contract violations before, but not like this. Let's talk. Mr. Bet on you back at you. Now, I, I want to use this as a teaching moment and also figure out, okay, and hear from y'all, what could, what could have been done differently to prevent this, right? So, I'm on an order for Steve's hot dogs yesterday and then they add an order to my route, a plus six plus wing stop. I'm like, oh, this is great. It's going around the corner from where the Steve's is going. Boom, I accept it. I'm at Steve's. I'm waiting on the order. George is the gentleman's name on the wing stop order. He says, hey, what's going on? I ask him, hey, what you know? What do you mean? Oh, I see you're, you know, uh, are you waiting on another order? I was like, yeah, you know, I gotta, I'll gotta, i pick up yours in a second. Um, you know, they added your order to mine, but you, you guys live really close, so it shouldn't be that long. He goes, great, that was it. No problem, no problem. Pick up the Steve's, go to Wingstop. It's on the same road, South Grand, about a mile apart. Walk in there, ask for George's order. A 30 pack party, whatever, wings. No drinks, the order's ready. George, lady says, can you confirm it for me? Sure, confirm. It says George on the bag, big bag. Seems like a party pack to me. No issues, right? I feel like I'm good. Drop off Steve's hot dogs, drop off George. No issues at all, handing it to the guy. It was about maybe 20 years old, maybe a little bit younger. Tipped, put that, I'm showing that here or we'll show it, uh, 450. I think the order was six plus, it wound up being 650 or seven bucks, something like that. I'm like, all right, cool. there's no issues. I'm doing my dash, contract violation, comes up. Wrong food delivered. Now, I didn't give George the Steve's hot dogs. I gave him the order. Now, two things could have happened here. This is what I think happened. I think George, and I'm calling you out, George, because I thought about going and knocking on that door. I ain't doing all that. I'm not getting deactivated. I'm not, it's, I don't recommend doing it. He scammed. They got free food. They went into the app and said, oh, I didn't get the right order. And DoorDash refunded. I called DoorDash. They said, you can submit an appeal. I did that. Give us whatever. The contract violation is still there. Now, it's either that or Wingstop made a mistake and said they, they the bag's sealed. So they wrote George on the wrong bag. Could have been that. He got the wrong food. But how's that a con how's that on me? Shouldn't he have called Wingstop, called DoorDash? Hey, I got the wrong order. How do I, as a dasher, get a contract violation when I didn't do anything wrong? Nothing. Even if Wingstop made a mistake and George didn't scam, he still got food. It was the wrong thing, but it says George on the bag. It said George on the bag. It was in like a green Sharpie. So how do I get a contract violation? How am I possibly hindered now from making money? Let's see, I get another one. Or let's say DoorDash is like, oh, you're gonna, now we're gonna deactivate you. Now that didn't happen. And I'm not worried. But you guys tell me what you think. Now. I've never gotten a contract violation for this. Wrong food delivered? No, he got his food. He scammed, he lied. So instead of saying he never got it, he said, because it was a leave it door, but the guy came out, so I took a picture. 100% scam. He scammed. That's what I think. And he realized, well, now he's got a picture. I tried to get it so he wouldn't have a picture. You guys following? He tipped, which is irrelevant because, hey, I'm just, I'll tip, I'll tip the guy four or five bucks or whatever, 450, and I'm still going to get my free food. But when I told him, hey, I need a picture, man, bye, bye, bye. It was cool. He was like, handing the bag. And he's like, well, I'm just going to say I got the wrong, deli wrong food delivered. Bullshit, George. You're a clown. I'm calling you out. Not going to give your information. I, I can say your name. Nobody knows where you live. 
You scammed to get free wings from Wingstop. How miserable of a human being do you have to be? It's either that or Wingstop made a mistake, put the wrong name on the bag, which is possible. It's possible. But I think it all lined up. He, 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 he knew I had another order. I think he just told DoorDash, hey, he gave me the wrong food. It's the Dasher's fault. So that's why I got a contract violation. Has this ever happened to you? I mean, how do we prevent it as drivers? Do I, should I have asked Wingstop, hey, like, are you sure that's George's? I know it's his name on it. Come on, nobody's doing that. Now you can confirm things. You should check drinks. You should check this. You should check that. If the bag was big and it was on its side. So it seemed accurate. The name was there plus 30 pack, boom, 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 no drinks. Now, if they try to hand me a small bag, I'm like, hold up, is that really George? How do I get a contract violation? How did I do, what did I do wrong? I think George is a miserable SOB and he got free food. And if I, if I deliver to him again, I'll ask him about it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way. DoorDash said, you could submit it out, it might go away. One time when I've got a contract violation, which was the first one I got when I called, the contract violation went away within about an hour. All the one, other ones I've gotten after that have been, hey, food not delivered, food not delivered. This was wrong food delivered. I have never seen that before in my life. I'm not tripping off it because I'm still able to work. Work today, I worked last night. Still getting good orders, still getting bad orders, whatever. It's an algorithm thing. But George got over on us and I think that's, a, they, now instead of saying you didn't get it, they can just tell the orders, hey, I got the wrong food. And they see that you're on a stack, so they might assume I gave him Steve's hot dogs. But I didn't do that, because then the other guy would've got Wingstop. So instead of saying I didn't get it at all, I got the wrong food. George, you'll get what you get. Offer some free Wingstop that is not essential. You don't need it. You guys tell me what you think down below. I think this is a way, I think customers are getting really clever learning the ropes, sneaking and figuring out how do I get this food refunded? How do I get a refund? How do I get it free? How do I get whatever? Let me just lie and say that the Dasher didn't give me the right delivery when I did. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's all I got for y'all today. Have a great day, make your money, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.